uh you, you, I did message both. I messaged Kay back and more. Okay, uh, that might still be true because it's just like a, it's just like a, do we have work for folks like you? And that's usually the question. And so uh, I don't know if there's availability, but I did forward it off to him. So good luck. I, it's, it's part of a different section of TFT Academy, which is the agency part that I'm not entirely super well versed in. All right, belt. But it's good that you keep checking because that's how you honestly, that's like, that's how you find that spot because it all depends on timing, right? Sugarcraft. Early Bard. Namzi. Terrafine. Yes, that was a Swords. No one expects the banana. Sword. Nobody expects the banana. Eldritch. Why so tense? Relax. Okay. Sugar crafters build a layer of cake from sugar. Gain sugar for each component your opponent's team holding after player combat. Then gain ADAP increased by 10% of your state character. So it doesn't work during PB rounds. Ooh, this is AD. All right, so I think I have to ditch this. Pick up AD champions because I have sword and glove. What? No, I. I didn't know. I didn't know. That's not fair. Okay. Well, that's pretty upsetting. I take it anyways. Maybe take it anyways. Sugarcraft. Oh, wait. Get it back anyways. 50% chance to flip. I mean, that's fine. Vanguard, Blaster, Mage. I'll just play. Who's the best individual unit here? Just play another Rumble. Uh oh shit, what do I play? Stairs Gauge? Like what am I supposed to like slam here? I don't get it. I'm thinking stairs gauge. Oh more guys have missed. I'm thinking stairs gauge makes sense because eventually I'm gonna replace it with like Fiora for like a warrior. So I can try to play Sugarcraft Fiora. Actually Guard Breaker probably would have been fine, but like I don't think Guard Breaker is good on Soraka 1. Okay. Elise. Helpful. Uh, pair. Still don't have a blaster. I technically don't need this. Do I have an Eldritch unit? I don't. Rock a 624 utility. What about Zillion? Isn't Zillion just like a good unit? Let me see. Oh gosh. Mordekaiser with Eternal Winter. Yeah, Zillion does a little bit more damage, which is good. Okay. Close. Hecarim is a multi striker bastion. Uh, let's see. I have to sell this though. I, I can't hold this all this gold. Gold subscription. Need to be making gold. Um. Man, do I really not have like an easy synergy to play? I, I, I really don't. I mean, I guess that's on me because I skipped the, the I sold the bard. That is on me. Maybe I could hold Katarina as a warrior compliment to Gwen, but I have stairs gauge slam first. It's not particularly really good.
Okay, just kill two is good if I can. Oh wait. I kill his Neela? I mean this person has Sinja too. I'm not expecting to actually win, but. Oh, Rumble! Ah, ah, nice try, nice try. I'm holding on to this because it's a pair and it's a possible shapeshifter connection with dragon. Oh. Ooh, another sugarcraft emblem. Down. Okay, so I just need another spat and I can get six sugar craft or another uh, sword. Sword is sugar craft, right? I think so. Yeah. He had temporary magnetic remover and a reforger for one round. Okay. And I can remove. And I could reforge. Honestly, I could reforge both. Trying to reforge both. Red buff and belt. Well, red buff is better. I can't wait. Okay, so I have this three, five, six, seven. I should probably actually play this just on her, right? For blasters. Vanguard mage. Dude, how am I not finding like any easy synergies to play? It's kind of wild. Oh, actually, I had the Eldridge. My bad. I should just play that. Derp. Brain fart. Correct. This can be replaced with Tristana. Can do this. This is very good. And we're good. That's a whole way. Oh, Bramblin, how you doing, buddy? Bramblin, how goes it? How are you enjoying set 12, my friend? Keep still. Is it everything you hoped and dreamed it would be? I win this fight. I might win this fight. He's got all one stars. Just like me. I just have sleight of hand, though. Oh, Swain cast again. Oh, actually, I win. I win. Oh, what? Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. It's close, close. Perfect loss. Almost. Almost. Okay, so now I just need to find... <clears throat> Jinx. Okay, Rumble 2 is good. Rumble 2 is good. Um, And then... Let me just put these sugar crab units in. So, Snapshot. Cut, 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 cut. Soraka. Uh, Bard. Jinx, Tom Kench, Gwen, Yora. Good enough for now. Vest, I just need a sword. Sword gamers. Hey, we got the we got the the bard. It's big. It's big. Okay, it's good enough for me. So I probably slam. Redemption then. A lesser champion duplicator. So this plus this. And make Morty Kaiser 2. Uh I guess. I mean I feel like I would take this. I just don't know who to use it on. So I'm gonna take this and not use it right now. Redemption. I guess I'm gonna lose I have to slam my components. With Sugarcraft. That's like the only thing about Sugarcraft is a little bit awkward. You have to figure out how to slam it. But here's like a good component for Gwen. Using it in Redemption is a little bit suboptimal. Shivana 2. 
that's okay though the problem the thing is uh with trigger craft is you get infinite removers and you get like a ton of items okay i think i'm gonna slight roll here on three two if i find jinx i get six sugar craft anyways from a sword off carousel so uh it's okay to roll here i think plus i have three pairs and a duplicator blistering strikes i already have red buff recombob <laughs> oh wait a second hold on pause champ pause champ oh oh there is two i mean that's fine it's a it's actually it's actually pretty good it's actually pretty good because I, I have a, I have a, I have a blaster this way. So remover. Um, this is my Vanguard though. Wukong, I guess. Oh wait. Huh? Preserver? I'll do that. Red buff, sugar craft. Okay, so sell this extra rumble uh ari can probably go Dude, imagine if i lose this fight this <laughs> bears two sucks oh i lost oh no i won i won i won i won Woo! close one close one Man, look at that. Recombob plays. Sugar craft into Recombob. Pretty woke. -sh. Jinx. Uh, so I just need a sword now. I just need a sword now. Yeah. My front line is so bad. Uh, what can I do instead of this? Is there Vanguard units? No Vanguard units. Preserver. How much am I getting for my Sugarcraft stacks? 32. Probably sell this Rumble to make 50. Eternal Winter on Frost Unit. Dies of Cringe. I mean, that's just like, <laughs> that's like the, that's just such a Wombo combo. Frost with like uh, Eternal Winter on. Yeah. All good. All right. Sword. Two swords. Ungriefable. Ungriefable. Okay. So now I have two Sugarcraft emblems. I can do Sugarcraft front and back. I, I think I level here. And now I just start stacking six Sugarcraft as fast as I can. Is it gonna be is it gonna be fast enough for this stack? I feel like I have to roll a little bit on seven. Also probably want to play like a pyro frontliner. Uh sure. Do I roll here at all? Um I don't know like the thing is I could definitely see myself needing to roll here but I have six sugar craft and I'm trying to like stack anyways and I kind of need to like get to eight I can't get stuck on seven and I'd be rolling for a jinx two and a soraka two unanimized specifically only two units one of them's a one cost it's like a pretty it's a pretty un unlikely thing that I roll for many good things I, I actually would play like a one-star pyro frontliner I win that's good I mean I did have like I could hit like Nasus or Shen or um something else but Ooh, you're a warrior one roll here for like a, for more frontline unit 34 and all how many rolls am I away from charm 
So that makes me feel like I want to do that. Actually, should I just roll for a charm here as well? Wait, does this actually work on... Uh, does this work on... Does this actually affect my 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 uh my sugar craft emblems? I the reason why I did is because they want sugar craft. I guess I'm just gonna try it anyways next turn. Uh, I'll I'll just click it for next turn. Next combat. Oh wait, does it count for creep rounds? Oh, that might not be what I wanted to do. Also, I kind of want this uh recon. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I want this Rakan over Wukong. It's fine. It'd be like that. Fiora. I mean, Fiora can be the holder of this over. Uh. Fiora can be the holder of this on eight. I can get there. Sell, sell. Oh no! I didn't sell it fast enough. Minus one gold. Dude. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't count. Nice. Okay, so shiv, shiv. Uh. This. And then shiv, shiv, I guess. That's fun. All right. So level next turn roll for Gwen. Gwen, another Vanguard. Usually it's Tom Kench and then play another Preserver. I, that's why I wanted the Recon. I would be too broke otherwise. Is Sugarcraft the 8-bit of this patch? Yes. Yes, it is. Six Sugarcraft. 84. Three-star Warwick with Unleash the Beast rolling for days. That's actually kind of interesting. Unleash the Beast into Warwick. I can see that being good. Oh, I didn't say Rod. My bad. Uh, Caramelized Comfort. Oh, this one's not good. We try this one, right? I'd rather just go for, um, like, Support Golem. This, this apparently is, like, kind of weak. I think they might have to buff it. Dan United. Uh, I don't think I'm going to win necessarily. And life. I am Fairy Preserver. Magic. Jinx. Oh, Cell. The Rocket 2. <laughs> I only need time. I feel like uh I feel like she would be uh do well with this just temporarily for one round. Reroll your shop. I don't want to reroll my shop though. Oh, I guess I should have picked the 10 gold. Uh hold on, hold on. Wait, why do I have redemption on Varus? Wait, what? What's the econ trade? There is no econ trade this set. Riot's trying out something new. Wait a second. Why do I have? Oh, the shit. How did the item? Wait, how did the items end up here? They reverted back, but that's not the. That's not where I slammed anything. Yo, what the heck? Hey, hey, that's. Really not cool, actually. <laughs> uh, okay. I never hold back. So. So. Uh. Oh, man. I have one remover. I have an infinite. You technically get an infinite remover when you stack like sugar crafts. So like, it's shouldn't be a big deal if I can get there, but I don't know if I'm going to get there, you know, with Redemption Varus. <laughs> right, honestly, Redemption Varus did for that fight. 
staying here until I hit Gwen, I guess. Oh, Milio is good. I can get to Milio. Okay, we can get it. Con. Spark. Okay, so I want to roll. Uh, if I hit Gwen, I replace Soraka. And then sell Shen. Spark. I mean, honestly, yeah. Oh, we're con too. Nice. Champion without items. Sure. Spark. Should I just sugar crap for Man, I'm getting more dogged again. It's fine. I think this is fine for now. Dude, what are these items, man? Oh. Molol, thank you so much. I actually didn't uh, position my uh, stable treasure chest. I didn't think about it. Zephyr the Swain, though. That's good enough. Wait a second. Five head positioning because the uh, stable treasure just wrapped around. I want Nasus pair. Um. Okay, Nasus two, Gwen. So let's let's go ahead and actually start replacing. So Gwen, Fiora. Oh, isn't Varus 2 Nasus 2 like way better though? I think it is. This is like way, way, way better for now. Oh, seven sugar crap. Oops, I should play Vent this over Gwen. My bad. Sorry. I'm still not moving my Zephyr because I kind of forgot that I have it. Daisies. Seven sugar crap. No, just ignore that. Just ignore that. Just ignore that. Also, I really don't want to have to use his remover, but I think I should have. I think this might have been redemption on Nasus if I lose. Where's Varus aiming? He aimed at Jinx. <laughs> he shot an arrow at my own unit. All right. I want to make gold, but I've been kind of stuck on eight for a while trying to stabilize. Ooh, you're two. All right, here we go. Bunch of gold. Sword. Uh, This here for now. Uh, Gwen's probably better than Soraka. I don't need Soraka, honestly. Gwen still did 1,600. Soraka did 1,300. Plus healing. Okay, so... <clears throat> Oh, two remover. Oh, nice. Next champion you buy this round is free. Delicious despair. Looking to see if I can replace some of these other units. I cannot. Okay. Uh, let's remove this. Sugar craft. Uh, spark. Still holding so many pairs. Hogma three. Hogma three is done. You don't want redemption on Nasus? I do, I do, I do. I just I had one remover and I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to use it, but uh I do, I do. Four random items becomes artifacts this round. I am only as wild as magic. Who wants a piece I'm Kench two. Okay. There it is, there it is. Gwen two. 
Callista too, just in the shop. Um. Okay, I'm done rolling. I'm done rolling. I probably should have been. I probably shouldn't have rolled as much, but. I missed the Warwick. I think it's fine. I don't have Warrior for Gwen. It's okay. Warrior is kind of fake, right? Yeah. Gwen's a flex unit. Fiora? Oh, yeah. Just the thing is, I have Varus 2 and Fiora 1. So. And Varus is not bad with Pyro stacking and everything like that. Dude, triple Runin's Jinx. I mean, can you take a second to appreciate what's happening here? This, this guy went triple Runin's Jinx, category 5, endless hunt. <laughs> uh, four cost champion you have transforms into a five cost. Uh, but like, I don't want to transform Gwen. Jax three. Okay. I mean, I was for this guy, but, uh, Oh, Dude, that Warwick is down. Okay. He, I think Warwick needs more late game I, I don't think this is enough unleash the beast i think most people i saw doing well with warwick are like snowballing it with like a very very strong artifact the new build for warwick that i see people doing is uh corrupted vampire acceptor let's take a full item here tg milio Ooh, tg on a milio you on Emilio? Damn. That's fine. I'll take Arcana Emblem. That's actually really good. Arcana Emblem. I was kind of secretly hoping for Arcana Emblem because uh, Arcana says equipping special items and then giving you buffs. So that's actually really good. It doesn't matter who holds the emblem, right? So I guess I can put it on like Rumble. Equipping spatula items gives damage jam for each spatula item equipped, and I have two spatula items. I'm about to hit 950 on the, on the thing. All right. <clears throat> What's the max? I think it's like 2,000 something. Because you, you, you only can stack like 100 per round, so it's kind of like a lot of rounds to get to 2,000. Upper over Arcana. Team gets damage amp plus more for each emblem equipped on your tech units. Tactician's crown counts twice, so I get 15% damage amp, which is like a lot. I guess I could just level and play Arcana as well. All right, seven frost, six, six shapeshifter, Fiora two. All right, golden remover, rage blade. Okay. Doesn't this actually just mean that I should just level and play Fiora and like actually hold on to this? Okay, which becomes radiant item? Radiant gunblade, sure. And I can do spark on Gwen. Sugar craft, this guy. I've Zephyr the best unit on his team, Diana one. That's actually, that's actually a good Zephyr. Not even joking. Six sugar craft. Do you guys think sugar six sugar craft's kind of OP? It's it's feeling like when you can get it rolling, it just feels super dominant like now i feel like i just can't lose smolder with the arcane train doesn't let you 
doesn't tell you the actual buff each champion gives it does it does you have to you have to hover over it use this on arcane champion to change the arcane effect gain ability power for each three-star champion so you get ap you get 80 from hecarim hp from tom catch abilities deal true damage and you get damage amp from uh I am only as wild as magic If you get early enough, that's true. I did get two sugar craft emblems. Two of them. I think. I'm pretty sure leveling for another arcana is like really, really good here. Gain a champion duplicator. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Archangel's Gwen. So, Bark goes back here. Next turn, I level for the Fiora. He stunned me at the beginning of the fight. Gwen solo in the Warwick. Let's go, Gwen. Hey. Let's go, Gwen. What type of items are best for Gwen? AP Reaper items. Do so you want like AP healing? Uh, Edge of Night's good because she gets into the melee range. All right, Fiora two. Varus. In a permanent three star. Nah. Morgana's actually really good here as well. Reroll your shot with all five costs. Zareth. Oh, Zareth actually is probably even better than Fiora. They get damage amp across the board. How much bonus true damage? 15%. Is that even better than damage amp? Because the ability, the ability power true damage is really good for Gwen, but like, how good is it for everyone else? I feel like the raw damage amp from the emblem might be better. <laughs> Honestly, it, it, it doesn't matter. I'm so far ahead. Like, it doesn't matter. I think I think emblem might be better. You guys think emblem's better? Yeah, I'm starting to think the same thing as well. Only as wild as magic. Oh, two duplicators. Uh, well. Okay. I am nowhere near three star five cause. I'm like so far away from it. It's, it's wild. Let me do uh emblem guy. Damn, I should have sacked actually. One of these days, I'm just gonna do this to get a three star five. Bro. All right, six sugar craft steamroll. That's because I like high rolled and I got two spats. GG's. Trainer Golems, Champion Duplicator, or Ascending Augment. <laughs> Who was the last in your list you added so I know if I'm next in or so? Uh, the person, it's Kuno P is the person and above that I got. D McKay, Emo Lil D, Quelo, Quelo, Bioboom, Vix, CPZ, Severn. Sa Tectonic and let me have fun. Uh, piss, pisser, sixty-nine. Well, oh, I got another fairy. Oh, come on. What? I'm just playing the exact same line as I did previously. Nine fairy again. Maybe I'll try a different variation. The same exact game. 
Multi striker. I got Arcana. I could try to do like two, like just, I could try to go instead of like multi strikers. Multi strikers, Arcana. Wait. What the heck? Hold on a second. What's going on here? What is actually happening here? Multi striker. Okay, let's get around. Honey Mancy, Shapeshifter, Portal. Okay. I mean, this guy got the same thing as I did, basically. Uh, Pyro, Preserver, Warrior. Frost Mage, Encanter. Preserver, Shapeshifter. Sugarcraft, Encanter, Bastion. And Hunter, Preserver. A wandering trainer again. Do I just rip it? Molten Caramel. That's a Rumble Hero Augment. And I don't have Sugarcraft, so. First every game. Hey, Frodan, coach us. Coach you guys? What, on Vitality? Dude, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get fired. Trainer plus Arcana. Oh, you're right. Okay, here we go. Rip it, rip it. What? Nah, nah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Whoa. All right. Um, I level. I'm definitely going to win streak. Right? Right? Name Shiv. Or is it Last Whisper? Oh, that's actually. Do I play Warrior with it? Multi Striker? I'll just play this. Multi strikers are, are a lot of AD. I'll just do last whisper to start things off. Man, how much damage amp do I have? 21% damage amp at 2 1. Well, that seems fair. That seems real fair. <laughs> I almost lost. Do I play around this? I, I'm a big fan of Shen early game. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, the thing is, I'm playing a lot of weak units right now. So, like one star units. This is probably better. I just thought I had four dummies, so I want to play more backline stuff last fight, but this fight. Uh, I also didn't use my fairy crown. If you put the crown on, is it stuck on you? No, no, no. That was that's that was my bad. That was my bad. Man. Yeah, yeah, my bad. I forgot about the crown. Okay, so what does I mean I have to play five arcana for sure. I'm just gonna play not Ari. And I have Hecarim, who's a multi-striker. Okay. I mean, Last Whisper is good. Around tier. I mean, this is just filthy. I, I, I play I play Akali, and I have immediately Pyro, Warrior, multi-striker. Lilia. Like, this is actually gross. Sell. Buy. Sell. Sell. I'll probably sell both all of these. These three. I don't really need Chrono. Chrono's nice, but it's a team wide heal that is better towards the mid late stages of the game. Last Whisper and Runins. Oh, uh, category five. Ah, uh, you know, I think this augment is so OP. I might, I, I could, I could see myself losing to this. Eh, it's all one star front line. Never mind. But like, you know, low key, I could see it. Wait, what? Why is Zoe all the way? Why is Zoe all the way here? What? <laughs> well, what? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hi, Zoe. Hecarim reroll. Oh, in that case, I missed out on Rageblade, huh? 
I don't think it's reroll, but I can see myself doing well with it. Spat. Fairy emblem. Nine fairy. Probably not. Can you explain how to play Warrior Crest? You put Warrior Crest on. Uh, uh, you just basically play like six Warrior if you can. Go Redemption here. Adaptive. I'm, gonna take the, I'm just going to take the three cost. I might not slam anything. Reveal who your next opponent is. Do I have three on Eldritch? Is this worth then? Probably just to summon more units. I, I lose a little bit of CC, but it's fine. I five. I lose anyways. Three, eight. Arganomi is a little bit less tanky than Golem. Good to know. That was the biggest cop out answer. You play six warrior with warrior emblem. I mean, all right. How about this? Go look up the warrior comps on TFT Academy, man. You just like you play. I, I don't know who the best warrior emblem holder is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I, I, I don't really play much warrior vertical and uh, like, I'm pretty sure four warriors pretty underwhelming. Okay. Probably Olaf. Sure. But you could also probably just fight like warrior on any other melee carry. That's really good too. So, cause any, anybody that benefits from damage amp and Omnivamp. Shapeshifter portal. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty much just chilling here, right? It's day two of the PB. You're supposed to know everything. I'm going to stick to my cop out answer. Thank you very much. Well, actually, I might need a slam redemption. Too late, I think. Oh, actually, it's not a redemption diff. He has just done it too. I lost by like a lot of units. Uh, I can kill this. <clears throat> okay, so. Oh my god, early Nasus. So then. That's really good. I'm not playing Vertical Fairy. I can just drop the Eldritches. Or drop this uh, Mordekaiser. I'm not entirely sure. I, I actually think it's probably drop Eldritch, these two, and play uh, Shen. Shen. Shen 2 is really good. Ooh, but I picked up that. Okay, Hodge. Hodge last whisper. I think I put this on Neela. <sighs> Why is it so hard, man? Why is it so hard? Okay, I don't think that Eldritch is like that important right now. I do last whisper Hodge on Neela because I think it's much stronger at the moment because I think I'm stuck on Ash 1, unfortunately. I might roll a little bit. Okay, so Neela takes this. <clears throat> I just think Nasus is just a good unit. I'm holding one, two, three, four pairs. So I think I probably roll next turn. Oh no, I just sold one of my pairs. I'm holding three pairs. Not nearly as good. Also, if I find a Hecarim on six doesn't that make my board like way stronger because i get three arcana actually i should put an ari and hecarim for this too tanky 
Nah. That's uh, this is a double trouble. I'm not I'm rerolling it. Unify resistance when I have extra stats is good. Item collector. Does that is it is item collector count emblems? Is there a way for me to tell? It should. 450. Oh my. I gained 65 health. So for each unique item we're holding. I don't think it. What? So it gained 40 health. So it was 450. No, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Are you sure? Five AP. No, it doesn't count, you guys. What are, what are you talking about? There's no way. There's no way it counts. <clears throat> I'm looking at the base stats. It, it doesn't look like it counted. You guys are trolling me, man. I, I picked this because I was like, man, this is so good. Oh, all right. All right. Visual bug. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Yeah, Jax has... Jax has three AD, five AP. Yeah, it. Yeah, okay, guys. Nice, nice one. Nice one. You got me. You got me. All right. Well played. Well played. <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All good. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. So, I eventually... Am I going 7 multi-striker? I think I might be. I'm going to try to go multi-striker plus uh, Arcana. So, let me put up every multi-striker. Ash, Hasidin, Holly, Hecarim, Callista. Who am I missing? Camille. Camille. Camillionaire. Idiot, I lost. What did I lose to? I lost to Emo. Emo Lil D. Six portal. Ooh, understandable. Understandable. Seven multi strike. Yeah, but what what but like shouldn't I shouldn't I try it though? You guys just like don't even bother trying it. Don't experiment. Play the two-day PB meta instead. Three Deeks, thank you for the prime. Gain a random uncraftable emblem. I mean, that's pretty good because this... It just so happens that Arcana scales off of my emblems. All right. Uh, what do I even want? Maybe another Arcana emblem? <laughs> Is that even good? A Hunter emblem. Uh, okay. I have a hunter here. What do I do with this emblem? Reforge it? Sure, I'll put it on Ash for now just so I get a little bit extra bonus stats. Like, Hunter gives me extra AD, but, uh... I don't want to put it on Neela because if I have to reforge, I don't want to be able, I don't want to have to reforge on my Neela. You know what I mean? Like it's best on Neela right now, but I don't want to, I don't want to have to like reforge the Neela. Please take Call the Chaos with a five emblem prize. Ooh, I'm down actually. I am down. That sounds really, that sounds good. That sounds good. That does sound good. Okay. Uh, is there an Eldritch Hunter, a Shapeshifter Hunter? No. Chrono Hunter. Where are the Hunters? Dragon, Frost, Honeymancy, Sugarcraft, Broth. Ah. It's, it's like theoretically not that bad to have a Hunter emblem. It just doesn't do anything. Sell this extra Jax.
I need uh it actually might be good for Quicksilver I want to play around Nila more but I think Nila is temporary because I think I'm gonna go ultimately um away from Warriors Okay, but what if I get nine multi striker? Do you guys think nine multi striker sucks? <laughs> Crazy, have you haven't found a single Arcana? You know, I mean, I haven't rolled, but yeah. Probably not. What? 100% strike chance, heal 7.5% max health every attack every attack he like just think about that and then and, and, I, and I trigger i triple attack it heals 20 there's no way it's bad you gotta be kidding me man you're, you're trolling you're actually trolling there's no way it's bad you're bad all right hunter or mogs how about um I can't do even how many. Oh, this itemization is so awkward. How about guard breaker? Fuck it. Guard breaker. I mean, Warmox TG is probably fine, and I can play around cloak. It's okay. Ah, guard breaker is fine. All good. All good. I probably should have rolled a little bit here because I was too busy st stun locked. I basically got the exact same composer. I got one more belt and one more glove. I definitely should have rolled like a little bit because I have not enough gold for a fast aid. Well, actually, I technically got this gold. All right. Nila two. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have taken out traits for the multi striker, for the multi striker emblem. Guarantee it, you know. And multi striker emblem. Lucky gloves. After I just use it, that's fine. I'll take lucky gloves. Warrior crown. I'll take lucky gloves. Actually, I don't mind taking randuins either here. Nah, I'll just do that. Okay, Ari. Roll. Actually, wouldn't preservers be kind of insane in this board setup as well? Okay, sure. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Guys, nothing. Uh, TG Shen. Where's my crown? I don't have a fairy crown. I'm just gonna do this for now. Where's my where's my fairy crown? Sell. Sell. I'm five Arcana, six multi striker. Who's my who's my flex spot? You sold Lily? I have I have I have Callista in. There it is. What's the arcane damage at? 87%. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Uh, I have this. Attack speed for one round. Sounds good to me. What am I missing? Cassidy. I don't have Cassidy. Cassidy only go in over Ari. Sounds good. Guardbreaker's probably fight on Callista, isn't it? Even if I don't have Rage Blade. Because it gets so many attacks. Like, surely it's fine. It's probably Guardbreaker Callista. Hey, hey. The dude that was like multi striker suck. Keep watching, keep watching. Keep watching. 
me see. Um, if I go for, I go for a bow here. If I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming I'm not gonna get Zareth. If I get Zareth last pick, these guys are just straight up win trading me, which I appreciate. I like, a, I appreciate a good win trade every now and then, for me in my benefits. Um, uh, probably tier. Oh, I don't have anti heal. I don't have anti heal. List of two. I have nothing to roll for now. So it's probably it's probably Jax holds this or Hecarim. Oh, I have anti heal here. <clears throat> I don't think it would matter what your comp is with eighty seven percent damage amp. True. Peru. Uh, Jax is actually tankier than Hecarim, so Hecarim's actually more of a tank. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sunfire this guy just to make sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be uh, Guardbreaker Callista. I'm supposed to sell this. It's just that I got greedy for like an extra Callista item, like 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 Rage or something, but. Dude, I'm pretty sure this is just straight up illegal. I, I they they have to patch this yesterday. No, they don't. It's PVE, but it, it, this combo is disgusting. One roll for the charm. I'll roll for it. In a temporary Bramble Vest. Okay. Bramble Vest here. <clears throat> What's the combo? Oh, uh, the fact that I just have Arcana Emblem times two. And then um, when you when you select the uh, Arcana Emblem holder, you get damage in for each spatula item equipped and it stacks. So for I have one, two, three, four, five, six emblems. I have six emblems. So six times 12 is 72 plus 15 base. 87% damage amp, which means that my units are doing 87% extra bonus damage on top. So uh, not not very fair. Not very fair. This guy. Ooh, he actually almost has his sugar craft done. This is the person that might contend me contest me for first. Six sugar craft. And Camille. Woo! Ho -ho! Oh man. All right. So then this comes out. Oh man. And then I go nine to play uh, another unit. Okay. The thing now, the thing is I'm playing four Arcana, so I'm getting 52% bonus damage. Actually 60, but I get seven multi striker, which is like a really big deal. Oh, oh, have her a rage blade. Give me the bow. Give me the bow. Give me the bow. Give me the bow. Give me that bow. Oh, so close. So close. Okay. How about guard breaker? And then BT. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. I'll just go double healing. I'll go nine. And then I'll just do Hunter Emblem again on uh, Ash or something like that. Fine. S Forest, thank you for the Prime. Take your Prime? Sure, sounds good. I will keep it in a safe place. Sixty percent damage amp. Like, Calista's hitting so many units that she probably should be able to get a guard breaker value. That Dillion Sun almost owned me. Huh. This is like kind of close. These are these are close fights. Give me a bunch of these bards and stuff. Gain one gold. Sure. I'm too broke for any, a, a real combat augment anyways. 
keep this momentum up. Thoughts on the set so far? Got back today after vacation. I have enjoyed my first 10 games. I do like this set so far. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just honeymoon period, but I'm enjoying myself. I'm having fun. Like, I personally think that there's a lot of interesting augments, and I think that uh, with TFT, a good augment base to work off of is more important than like having a crazy flashy mechanic because augments ultimately are something that like define your game plan in a lot more meaningful way than the set mechanic the set mechanic is supposed to be like a way that enhances the game to make it novel like the way i view the set mechanic is it's supposed to be something that makes the every makes you want to play more so it gives you no, a, a, a fresh experience in the amount of novelty So like, you know, augments or portals, they're supposed to like those kinds of mechanics, like make it so you could play like a thousand games, but the augments itself is like what makes me feel like makes the game. If that makes sense. I hate the fact that they put Pandora's bench in. It says L333. I kind of like it. I kind of miss it. I kind of miss it. I can see, I can see a world. The, th the thing about Pandora's is that it's a really high skill augment and it's a fun augment. It's not a balanced augment. It's very OP. Dude, Neela three and Akai three just get cleared because my setup is so illegal. Oh my god. Today's games have been so high roll. It's unreal. These games have been so high roll. Ultra Striker Emblem on Carousel. Oh. Alas. I can get a Sugarcraft Emblem, though. That's good. Lucky Gloves. Lucky Gloves is more important than another random uh, emblem, right? For Like, Emblem scales my Arcana, but I'd rather have items on my Xerath, for example. Reroll with all five costs. Can I even afford it? No, I'm too broke. Okay, maybe I'll do it. Do it and just and just freeze. I only hit one. No. Oh. Uh, I'm not positioned well. All good. All good. Pyro? I already have two Pyro, but you're talking about you want more Pyro? I mean, another Thief's Glove so that Xerath has actual items is, I think, huge. That way I can maybe go for a third Camille item instead. Who said that I need Rage Blade on Calista? It looks like it's working out perfectly fine. Um, Do I want more charms? Oh, wait. You don't scale off the number of charms. You scale off of... That's that's Xerath. How much bonus true damage is this? 33% bonus true damage. No one's pinging. Someone's chasing the 3 star 4 cost. Gwen 3. This guy's at 10 portal. Oh my gosh. People's boards are really cracked. I actually didn't get to move my frontline in time. Daisies. Oh no, Kimio got locked out. Wait a second, am I a genius? Kimio just walks to the back line. Wait a second. Whoa! That might have been the most five head positioning of all time. Oh my god. I trapped my Camille, but then because of like the timing, she walks all the way back and straight to the back line and assassinates. I might be a I might be a Bortle genius, you guys. What was that? 10 portal is very strong. He's nine portal.
I got a charm that gave me an emblem. A portal emblem? Oh, beast. Which is stronger, Arcana? I think emblem is stronger because I'm doing so much. Oh, uh, this is really good. This is really good. Let me open this real quick. Age of Night. Wow. I just have this Camille. Okay, the thing is, the dragon doesn't even have space to move. I'm going to go ahead and roll. Gain a support item. Okay, I'm going to roll. Necrom 2. I'll sack. I'll sack. I feel strong. I feel strong. Who needs combat augments? My God, this Camille is crazy. 10K damage, dude. Ho, ho, ho. Man, Camille is so insane. Portal 10 is good. I mean, my my setup is just insane. Zareth. In four rerolls. Oh, here we go. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. My God, so huge. Donger J. Is this supposed to be in the front or what? I don't know. Dude, this is such this is so crazy. Here we go. My cake is done. Congrats. I mean he I beat six sugar craft. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Wait, did I beat six sugar craft? I did not. I lost. I lost by like a lot. Uh-oh. Oh the cake is the cake is, is wrecking me? Oh no, I counted my eggs too fast. Oh god. Oh god. That's not good. That's not good. Permanent three star one cost. And a magnetic remover. Why do we want a magnetic remove? Nothing. Do I even want this? Okay, sure. Why not? Okay, but the thing is, <laughs> I don't have actual combat. Dude, this cake is doing so much damage. Oh my god. Wait. I should have killed him while I had the chance. Okay, hold on. Multi striker emblem off carousel? Multi striker emblem off carousel? Aww. Okay, now what? Now what do I do? Uh. I actually have no clue. Shojin. And temporary bramble vest. Next combat, Zareth gains 20% damage. Okay. Okay. 20% damage amp. Okay. I probably have to save my goal. I'm just rolling for Tom Kench, too, is the thing. But what about these Shojin? The Shojin is useless. Actually useless. does nothing okay oh no it's actually it's just not enough no combat charm is bringing me back I'm Kench too oh reforger and remover okay what can I do with uh show healing? What? All right, I'm going to reforge this into something amazing. I don't even know what it is. Preserver. Oh, it's not even that good. Well, I am only as wild as magic. Uh, it's fine. Is what it is, I suppose. I can play like this for the fairy, but like it's just it's Jover. It's Jover. Ah, oh, I can't beat six sugar craft. <clears throat> I 
I also don't even know how to position Camille in a meaningful way, but I just love this by like so many units. I mean, let me make something very much clear. I love Boeing. Boeing is the best company ever to exist. It is so innovative and crucial to the success of air aeroplane transportation. And it is, a, it is a shining beacon of triumph of, the hu of humankind. But also the airline industry is kind of messed up. <clears throat> I love Boeing. No need for glaze. They only kill whistleblowers. You don't know that. Do you know that for a fact? That's the only stuff that makes the news. This person gets just on it too. Oh, wait, I can make gold. All right, let's try it. Surely Warwick can do it, right? Surely Warwick can do it. Attacks, heal. Yeah, yeah, he can do it. Easy, easy. Oh, Elise 2. Oh, no. I kind of want to buy this Elise 2, though. What if I get the Elise Hero Augment? What if I get the Elise Hero Augment? So Warwick can very much solo one too. That's good. Vanguards, Bastions, Oh no, Multi Striker. Ooh, Katarina. At least can as well, yeah, but at the time. I didn't know I was going to drop an Elise pair. Oh, Coral Delivery Service? Gain a Galleon of Zoe at the start of each round. Gain a one, random one to three. What? Wait a second. I never seen this augment. Oh, I got to pick this one. Well, that sounds fun. Okay. That's portal reroll. Reroll with all one cost champions. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Nice. Uh, amazing. Am I supposed to just level or do I just do I just sell? I think I sell. I think I sell the 20. I want to try like a, a straight up three star portal reroll. Just make econ. Make econ. The thing is, I don't, I don't think I can guarantee win streak by leveling. I don't have a combat augment or anything like that, or any items. I just get, I have an econ augment. Okay, relax, man. <laughs> that, that boom's a little over the top. I'm not very confident that I can win streak, so I don't think leveling is uh good, that good. This guy has portal as well. I probably should have actually held shapeshifter instead of the multi striker. Someone was like talking about like Cassidy. I was like, oh yeah, Cassidy is kind of fun, but uh, I don't think you play portal Cassidy very often. You play multi strikers with Cassidy. Molten caramel, deja vu, fortune favors the bold. This is a this is a pretty crazy lobby. Okay, lobby is uh is cracked. Why are you holding Jax over Lise? I I just I explained it because someone said Cassidy is cool, and in my mind I was like, oh yeah, Cassidy is cool, and the yeah, so like uh, they, they planted the idea in my brain. What's the first augment or uh, first item that I complete here? 
future will be phase two. Hmm, why so tense? Relax. Your Reveal your next opponent is Swift Blades. Deja vu. All right, I apologize ahead of time. I am going to be griefing the Galios, but that's because I'm playing portal delivery service. Morello. Morello is really good for rise, so. Sorry, so yeah, like I can't help it. Like it's going to keep me. I, I have to play Galio too, and I have to play portals. I'll try I'll try not to grief any more Galios than I need to. Does my board suck? I'm like losing by like a lot. Alright. Who costs rod? That charm kind of helps your opponent. They can see that you took it and you scattered them. So they also know that they're fighting you. Yeah, except, uh, I, I, what if I just do this? Like the Bay Bay Scout. Oh, I just keep doing like the micro scout. If I just do that, they're not, they're not going to be able to tell. Magic coming at you. Ezreal. Okay, so I'm not really winning streaking anyways, so all good. Morello, Morello on Zoe, I guess. He only does a da so damage to one target, though. I mean, I have a remover. It's probably fine. Put it on. Put it on Zoe. Oh, wait, I'm three lost anyways. It's all good. Is anyone besides Warwick and at least beat 1-3? I could see like a world where Lilia does because she heals herself. But no guarantees. Okay, I win this fight. And Zoe, okay. I just level here and try to two streak. I guess I could. And Sam Morello against this person, I don't think I win. This person, I might win. Person, I oh, this person, I do win because they're playing Fortune. Okay, well, I think it's I think it's worth trying. I think I Morello Zoe. She holds the AP items and then I can eventually remove her. I don't think Zoe's like efficient with it though. Make no mistake. I, I think that like she doesn't hit many targets. So Ezreal I, uh, in contrast has a lot of targets, but he doesn't really scale off the AP. He's an AD champ. What does Molten Caramel do? It, uh, your strongest Rumble's ability deals 190 damage and costs 30 less mana, but no longer reduces damage. Rumble also gains 15% Omni Vamp. So 30, so it's cheaper to cast and it no longer wounds, but it does more damage and heals him. Pass it in. Okay, so I have six portal. Oh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I do not. <clears throat> so what am I chasing for three stars? Trojan. BT. Hmm. Do point you just spawn every turn? Yeah, it does. At the start of each round. I got even on PvE round. 
a two cost you add transforms into a three cost not particularly very good for me here goes everything um Ezreal probably they go ie Ezreal I think I'm supposed to level I think oh Katarina too what the heck okay I'm not gonna win I'm not gonna slam but I'm pretty sure like if you play around portal you're supposed to play around let to play around rise and if I make IE Ezreal like I have AD item uh, I have like Morello but yeah I'm, I'm not gonna beat cat too Play Rumble over Poppy. I mean, I have Witchcraft in because of Zoe, but I can see it spin to win. I'm gonna play Wukong. Nah, Wukong sucks. Horrible Forge. Martyr is interesting. Decent combat augments for. I have so many, I have so little good items though. Portable Forge might be good here. vertically inclined oh that's actually true because I do play a bunch of verticals which is cursed last forever I'm not playing which is forever so oh wait I'm trying to play vertically inclined I can't play that many <laughs> I can't play that many uh traits Height goes PBE. I'm down to just go eight portal, right? Is Kite on uh how many how many losses is he on? I can see a world where I play around Ezreal though. I can see a world where I play around Ezreal. Like Ezreal 3 with uh with portal. And then just play like support. And I play, I mean, eight portal is just eight portal units though. Cassidin. Delicious. No, I want less trades. I want fewer trades. I want fewer trades because I'm playing vertically inclined, man. Six Vanguard. I can't get, I mean, that's as vertical as it gets. That's as vertical as it gets. You're my number one. You're my number three source for TFT behind solo and more dog because more duh. Glad you're playing the game. I enjoy Thank you, Jay. You're my number three chatter. But I can't verify. <laughs> if you play tom kench carry ap items uh the thing about tom kench in this setup is that uh i don't have a way to activate arcana actually do i is there a blaster uh eh, maybe hecarim for bastion oh oh, oh 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 no i'm too much too little hp oh i would be able to get that Okay, what if we try Ezreal? What if we try Ezreal? I have Last Whisper for him. Sword. And I just have Morel for anti-heal. Let's we could just try reroll Ezreal with Portal. Because he's a you, you get one to three costs, right? Always. So after a certain period of time, you can't get if I get Zoe 3, you can't get. Um temporary let me try let me try and reforge his cloak probably okay well that doesn't really change much for me uh <clears throat> well 
what I'm trying to say is at a certain point it'll just keep printing me as reels if I if I play reroll portal right so I go six portal reroll so it's like it's like Ezreal six portal plus rubble I go to seven and I roll for everything you can easily see yeah that's that's that's, that's what my my head's at right now I want to see if I can go for like three star everything oh man I'm gonna grief the deja vu guy our future will be bright probably sorry man sorry sorry ahead of time I wonder if I should it's like one of those things where I should like roll on six because I want to hit like the three star Zoe and stuff like that beforehand Who wants a piece of this? man I'm getting more dogged again okay so that like means that like one turn I can't get Zoe it's kind of like it's kind of like Yordles I mean that's why it's called portal delivery sir oh like Yordle delivery oh Nash Jordan was for three months. When is set 12? Like uh, July 31st, something like that. July 31st. Magic goes in. Hey, Galio 2. So now I go to seven because I need to get to six portal. And then uh, this this last unit is like a portal unit, right? So now I try to go for Ezreal three. GS. I have Morello already. Now I just like re-roll. Gain a component anvil. Okay. Sure. That's real. Rumble two. The thing about Hecarim is that he can be good if I hit multi striker for cast in three, but I don't think it's like generally that good otherwise. I E. Who's a three star? Jace. I see a portal emblem here. I E blue buff GS. All right, sounds good. I mean, Hecarim is good as like a link if I'm p carrying a uh, Cassidy, but I'm not. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I see, I'm just holding four cost to pull him out of the pool so I can hit Taric eventually. If I roll on seven enough, I'll hit Taric. Our future will be bright. Uh, mentorship. Explosive growth. Not explosive growth. Long distance pals. How about Capricious Forge? Capricious Forge is pretty good. Mentorship is interesting. Uh, that means if I have a single four cost unit, I can clump. I don't want to clump though. Is Blossomy Lotus good here? I kind of portal drag things out, right? Oh, you have my sword. I'll do that. Jace three. Okay. <clears throat> I am only as wild as magic. That's a Deja three. Oh no, I'm getting cooked. Israel, where are you aiming? Where are you aiming? Oh, the damage you have kicked in at the last second. 
Oh, snap. Okay. I actually did not think I was going to win that. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to win that. My God. Crazy. Crazy. Is real? Sure. Real all three costs. Do I want like more blasters. I could go for four blaster. I'm probably supposed to play something like, like Arcana or something like that instead. Shapeshifter instead of, uh, guy has Smolder 2 on 7. Oh, he, he, he did fortune cash out. I, I should play a Shapeshifter instead instead of like Tom Kench. But I'm trying not to like play too. I need to play more vertical, right? Three, four, three traits. Ari for all three stars. The problem with it is that it gives AP and also Ari. Uh, I have to cut Rumble, which is a blaster. I'm trying to play six portal here. Uh, redemption. Okay. <clears throat> Tarek, Nora. Rise. Surely I don't keep missing on these units. I've been rolling for a while on them. Sure. Morgana. Dude, I've seen every other forecast. Who wants a piece of this? Hmm. That's real too. Finally, finally. Okay, so I can sell this. They technically buffed six portals so let's see if like full three star portal could be good Ezra where are you aiming okay so I'm like I need I, I kind of want to roll down so I can guarantee Ezreal three soon also what happens when I print every portal unit that's one to three cost three star what happens Pass it in. Okay. So now it has to be Galio or Ezreal. Also, I'm pretty sure this should go on the rise, rise, but only when it had rise two. Oh wait, I'm playing vertically inclined and I only have three, I have four traits open and everyone else has three traits or less. Three traits, three traits, one trait. Oh, man. Oh, dear. With mentorship, you surround units around Nora and they all get buffed. That is true, except I didn't have Nora. And also, I don't like clumping in general. I think clumping is you make you, you set yourself up to get punished pretty hard. So after this, I think I, I roll, see if I can hit Ezreal three. Um, if I find Tarek, does Tarek go in over anything? Oh, what the heck? I forgot about this. Uh, TG and Sunfire. I already have Morello. Warmogs and Stone Plates. Even Shroud, Spark, and BT. It's honestly not bad. And Porter does a lot of magic damage. I'm down. I just have to find a mana item then.
BT here and Galio's gonna take Spark. Wait, I can buy this? It's during the creep rounds though. Oh, treasure army doesn't count for that. Interesting. Magic goes in, might comes out. Ezreal. Coming at you. Temporary declaw, sure. I am only as wild as magic. Magic goes in, might comes out. Hmm. I don't want to nuke my economy. I don't want to nuke my economy because I want to be able to go to AIDS. Bro, this Jace actually kind of hung in there. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Six Vanguard Deja still holding strong, by the way. How you like this comp name? Ballista. Bastion Callista. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I like that. Reroll your shop with odds one cost higher. Tarek. And life. One trade active, three trade active. So this actually makes my board we uh, like weaker in the scho less scholar, but technically stronger due to uh, the the vertically inclined. I guess I should just push levels because I'm guaranteed Ezreal three in two turns and my 57 HP. And I win again here. Nice. Okay, reroll portals. It's probably level and then just play like Briar or something like that at eight. Like some shapeshifter to make Jace, because Jace is holding my units. Or maybe I just go like seven portals or something like that, go nine until I hit ten, the eight portal. Sure. Wait, what? I don't get Ezreal? Are there no more Ezreals on the pool? Wait a second. Where's my Ezreal? Three. What? I should get an Ezreal. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. That is not good. That is not good. I, I banked everything on that plan. Oh, come on, man. Dude, I should have Ezreal 3 next turn. Move Ezreal from first slot in the bench. You're saying that's why? Because there's a there's an Ezreal already there. Nora with the uh, with the Nashers. Probably gonna go for a defensive item here for Galio. Warrior Enter. I'm not actually trying to complete many traits. A GS probably then. Sugarcraft stacks. I'm still not getting an Ezreal. Like I'm getting scammed. I'm getting so scammed. Oh my god. All right, whatever. Oh. Magic coming at you. Uh, oh, this actually turns into a four star unit, which is pretty funny. All right. It all worked out okay, right? Right? Maybe. Oh no, it's me versus my editor. I 
I think we got there. I think we got there. It was kind of close. It's kind of close. Not nah, scammed. I mean, I still have to pay for it. I still have to pay for it, so I am kind of scammed. Oh, dude, three people died. Oh my gosh, that is so close. Minus eight, minus eight, minus seven. All right, a uh, random back row champion gets 40% 40, 40 for seven seconds. So I'll give it to Ezreal. Um, Three traits versus four traits. I mean, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I think Scholar goes back in for Zoe. Like, her getting more mana per attack is probably relevant. That Tom can't just wreck me. Okay. Okay. So now the goal is to get to 8 or get to 9. Right? And then try to get to uh, 8 portal with Nora. I can get to nine. If I can get to nine. Okay, so the answer to this is once uh once you three star enough, you just it just stops working. So you just basically don't get anything else. I thought there was like some kind of secret thing, but you don't. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. GG, check out TFT Academy bet. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Uh, lose four player health, gain six shop rerolls. Gunblade, Zoe. Gunblade or Nashers? Probably Gunblade. Conquer is also pretty good, too. Let me see. Yeah, Giant Slayer. I think Gunblade makes sense here. I'll do it. I'll do it. It, it, it gives me more rolls at nine to look for Nora so I can go for eight portal. Uh, I position, I guess this Warwick isn't going to get unstable treasure value. Okay, the Ezreal angle. The Ezreal angle, my God. Dude, that Ezreal angle is so juicy. How do you get in viewer games? Discord, but uh, we're, we're, I think we're closed for today. This is, the, I think this is the last game for today. I should have actually typed it in thing, but. We are, this is the last game for today. Okay, so I do I, I go nine now? Eh, not really. Do you know what anyone knows Milio finds in his backpack? I think you get like a permanent item component like Lissandra. Ezreal! Dude, Ezreal is so cool, man. Man, I'm oh. getting more dogged again. Oh my god, holy, that was so close. Damn. Waru Haru, thank you for the for the prime. Um, do I want to roll for combat? I think I just saved my rolls here. I don't have <laughs> champion joins from bench, it doesn't really do anything. Not right now. I'm because I'm saving my rolls for Nora to go eights. Just these three. This is Ghost, right? Oh. Will you be streaming tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I will be. Tomorrow might be a, a little bit on the shorter side because I might have to have an early dinner with my family, but I'll be around the same. I'll be on around the same time, but I think I might end like an hour earlier than right now. So like. 23 hours from now, I'll probably end. Wait, 
Am I gonna lose to the ghost? Kind of close. Oh no! I lost. I lost. I lost. Holy, it's so close. Oh man, Deja narrowly goes third. That's actually good for me because this person has uh, more traits active, so vertically inclined is better. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That is a portal emblem. All right. What does that mean? That means I get to cut something for something. I don't know what that means, actually. It probably doesn't mean anything. It means that if I miss on Nora or Champion Duplicator. Wait, who, who am I playing? Oh, I'm not playing this. I can actually a portal and then I could probably like duplicate Diana and then remove this item to go BT on Diana. A portal. I mean, Scholar is kind of a big deal for Zoe. It is kind of a big deal for Zoe. Wait, am I just losing to this rumble again? Portal save me! Portal save me, Krugs! Oh no. Gain a forger and a remover. Okay. Nora. Diana. Uh, remove this. And then remove this and go BT. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good game, good game. Okay. Okay. I'm two at three mage, but like, surely this should be good enough. Surely this should be good enough. Close it out on a dub. Close it out on the dub. I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. My Diana's living. My Diana's living. Yeah. Oh, man. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. All right. That's another first. Man, what a day. What a day. That was pretty hype, actually. That was really cool. Reroll portal. Penny Andrew, thank you for the two months, buddy.